Okay, I'm back for another review of Fairy Tale, chapter 302. In this chapter, Arcadios and Yukino explain how the Eclipse Project can be used to stop Zephyr and Aknolia. I know I'm pronouncing the names so wrong, but I just suck at pronouncing those names. I don't know why. I just do. So, anyway, um, Arcadios takes... Um, not soon as gang to um Mercurius Palace, where they where he shows them the door of the Eclipse Project, which is which basically looks like this big giant gate, and so he explains how to use it. They need Lucy, it ha um need celestial magic to work, so they need Lucy to put her twelve um celestial keys in it, and for that and after that. It makes like it sends the person back in time 400 years, and you're going to use that method to stop Zephyr from, you know, Zephyr from Agnolia from, you know, being born or something. And I think that's how Zephyr knows about Natsu, could explain it, because Natsu going back in the past and meeting Zephyr. And it could be a bold attempt, which explains how Zephyr is still alive. So, anyway, if in no, Arcadios wants this to happen July 7th, and not too good, Jill and Wendy thinks it's weird because it's happening on the same day the dragons disappear. So, so this might be an extremely important date because a lot happened on July 7th. It really makes me wonder what's going to happen in the future fairytale chapters. So, anyway, we go back and we see... And the guards of the palace are surrounding Team Natsu because the guards do not want the Eclipse Project to happen. I don't know why. I just think they just say it could affect the present very greatly. It's like that basically old time travel crap. Whatever you affect in the past affects the future, the present, which is really wrong. I'm tired of hearing that. So anyway, um, not I mean not not. Lucy gets arrested and kidnapped for like the millionth time in this series. Just like Arahime from Bleach, they both get cap captured so many times and need the main character to protect them. It's so annoying. Why, why can't Lucy protect herself for once? Why? Why can't she? She gets arrested. I don't know why. I guess because only she can make this project work and the guards don't want to take any chance chances. But um, one of the um, guards... Well, not guards, but I guess minister. Yeah, he's this minister of defense says, like, if Fairytale can win the tournament, the Grand Magic Games, um, Lucy's arrested, her sentence can be changed. It's changed, so uh, obviously, they're gonna all be determined to win the tournament even more. And next chapter, I hope we can. Start the um, battle royale scene because I remember like 297 is just big. There will be one big battle between all the guilds in the in the Grand Match games. Now it keeps stuttering so much, and that's pretty much the chapter in a nutshell. Not really much to say. The chapter was all right, but it wasn't like one of those chapters where you can't wait till the next one or not make you. It doesn't make you wonder about what's going to happen next. It just makes you give more theories about the series, I guess. <clears throat> so anyway, I think Fairy Tale is off is is starting something great. I think in the future cha I think that the future chapters of Fairy Tale will be amazing for some reason. I just have that feeling. So anyway, I should just probably end this video now. Really got nothing much to say. Do you think Lecter is dead? Will he stay dead? Probably. Hope he does. I really didn't care for him. And I wonder will Gajil and Wendy ever use Dragon Force in this series? That would be so cool. And I uh, might as well just end it right here.